Dr. Lavin here. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So today I thought we'd talk a little bit about vitamin D. Now out of all the vitamins, I think it's about time we spoke about this little fellow more. So a little background. What are vitamins? Well, they come from the Latin meaning vital for life. And in fact, we have 13 essential nutrients. They vary from their function and mainly together, they actually help in our growth. They help in the way we see things. They help in bone, tissue, skin production, as well as organs. They also have a fantastic way of helping with our immune system and actually fighting against infection. So vitamin D is a particularly cool one. So over the last five to six months, we've actually been having respiratory consultants or lung doctors encouraging us to actually take vitamin D in order to fight against infections, particularly in the chest, as well as the nasty stuff like pneumonia. The condition known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, which is commonly associated with smoking and in fact in a few videos time we'll be talking about this, we've been actually noticing that in these cases actually having some vitamin D can actually help fight against these chest complications that we develop with these conditions. So in regards to COVID-19 and the current pandemic, we do know that some of the complications resulting from COVID-19 is something called acute respiratory distress syndrome. And especially in places like ITU, if you were to be admitted, this is one of the concerns that we have. It's interesting to find in some of these cases, we're finding actually low levels of vitamin D. So putting that together, there is an idea thinking by increasing our vitamin D, is there a potential we could actually boost our immune system to help fight against COVID-19. There are also links starting to form between our Afro-Caribbean population as well as our Asians and the disproportionate deaths that we're finding in those working in transport as well as healthcare. There's always historically been links with low vitamin D in this population compared to our Caucasian counterparts. So as we continue our battle against coronavirus, it's really important to know what other sources of vitamin D we may have. We obviously know the sunlight is a really, really essential source, but what about foods? Fatty fish, for example, tuna, mackerel and salmon are excellent, excellent sources of vitamin D. We also have cheese, orange juice, soy milk and even cereals. Beef and liver is an excellent source as well and egg yolks. Not yoking. As we move out of lockdown, there is a real, real concern obviously about coronavirus and its impact on our population. However, there is a part that we've forgotten. While we've been keeping our vulnerable and our elderly indoors, we have to remember vitamin D is very, very important in helping and therefore not to really take it literally. It is important we try and catch some rays. So if there's an opportunity to be outside, pottering around the garden or even just outside, obviously taking precautions and being safe, it's really, really important that we get that vitamin D from the sunlight. So there it is, vitamin D, one of our essential 13 nutrients and a really good one that fights against infection. I'm really glad it's finally getting its moment in the sun. Thank you for watching. Take care.